In this video, I'll show you a quick way to format uniform blocks of text, allowing you to go from this to that with a single click. So, I've got a product catalog opened here. Each product has a picture and a block of text. Now, I can go ahead and create different styles for each paragraph and then apply these styles manually to all the products. But honestly, that would take ages and it's very inefficient. So, instead, I'll show you how to set up styles for one product and then quickly apply them to the others. First, I'm going to format the text for just one product, the way I like it. I'll speed up this part up for you since it's not the main point of this video. Now, once the text looks good, I'm going to style each section from the bottom up and you'll see why in a moment. First, I'm going to make a style for these details and name it the body text. Next, I'll create a style for this subheading. And here's the clever part. I'll tell InDesign that after applying this style, it should automatically apply the next one, which is the body text style. See why I started from the bottom up? Otherwise, I couldn't link them together right away and I'd have to circle back and fix it later. So I just do the same thing for the other styles, linking them up one by one. For the description style, I set the subheading as the next style. Then I create the style for this line. Let's name it H2 and link it to the description. Finally, I create the header style and link it to the H2. Now I can apply these styles on all the products in the catalog. All I need to do is select a block of text, right click on the H1 style and choose apply H1 then next style. And just like that, all styles are applied in one go. But let's look closer. What if I want to make these words bold? I could create a character style with the formatting I want and then apply it to each word manually. But that's not my way. Why do it manually when InDesign can do it for me? For stuff like this, InDesign has nested styles. You'll find them in the paragraph styles under drop cups and nested styles. A nested style can be applied for a single character or entire line. In my case, I want to set up a nested style for characters. I click New Nested Style, choose a character style I already created or I could make a new one, and then decide how many words, sentences, characters or any other options it should apply to. Here I want to make the first word bold, so I leave the number 1 and choose words and you can see how it's work right here. But what if there's one word here and two words here? As you can see now, the nested style doesn't work quite right. In that case, I look for a pattern, like a colon after these words. So I can adjust the nested style to apply it before the colon, instead of certain number of words. And the bold style lands exactly where I want it. Another option is if I want to highlight something in the text, like the battle size right here. I just open H2 paragraph style, go to the nested styles, create a new nested style, and tell it to find the first digit. Then I create one more nested style, and a new character style, let's call it gray. and apply this style to the whole word after the first digit. As you can see, the color has changed to gray. So I can choose now to apply this style to whole word or just to digits. Or I can change it to everything that comes after the first digit. So if I type anything here, it will be great too. And that's it. Now all nested styles are applied across the all products. 
and I can easily change anything I want using character styles and paragraph styles. Let's say I want bottle size uh, to be a normal case. And that's it. This was a short catalog. So I just copied the descriptions from the Word file. But what if there were 100 items? I wouldn't want to add them one by one. And that's where InDesign's data merge helps. I have another video on that. Check it out. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Drop your question in the comments if you have any. And I'll see you next time.